which is what brings me here before you today. Fairness for those bringing forward the allegations. Fairness for all foreign workers who have a right to be welcomed and treated well in our country. And fairness for anyone who has been accused of wrongdoing, like myself. I'm here today to speak to you about an issue that has really taken on a life of its own. An issue that has been based on innuendo and allegations that are false and unsubstantiated. Politics has really been in large supply and fairness has really been hard to find. Reporters have been reporting on this, journalists have been writing about it, and political parties have been using this issue to exploit it in their own sensational ways for their own partisan purposes. You can only imagine what it's like to have been the subject of these stories. To have your character, your conduct maligned with so much without an opportunity to even have the chance to fairly defend your name. Can you imagine how it feels to have the very values and beliefs that have defined you as an individual, as a person, values and beliefs that you have championed as a family put into question? But I'm here today, my colleagues, to put the record straight and to ensure that the facts are brought to light, not based on allegations, but based on facts and proof and evidence. I, Ruby Dalla, did not employ Magdalene Gordo or Richland Thompson. I, Ruby Dalla, did not sponsor Magdalene or Richland. I did not pay the salaries of Magdalene or Richland. I was not the person that care was provided to by Magdalene or Richland. And I had no involvement from an immigration or employment perspective. I did have one involvement though, and that was as a daughter. A daughter who made an initial phone call to an agency for her mother who required help. And that referral in itself was received from a very good friend. And after that initial phone call, it was my mother and my brother who had contact with that agency. I, like many others, are trying to wonder why these caregivers have come forward 15 months later after leaving our home on what I thought was on good terms. I don't know what their motive is, but I do want to tell all of you today that I have nothing to hide and I have done nothing wrong. If you take a look at the allegations in themselves, Ms. Gordo alleges that she was not paid for her work, but when you take a look at the evidence and the proof, it is Ms. Gordo herself who has signed handwritten receipts stating that she has received the funding, the payments. She has also signed a receipt stating that nothing more is owed. It is Ms. Gordo who, sell, who says that she worked for three weeks, but again, when you take a look at the evidence, it is her herself who states that she only worked for a period of 11 days. And out of those 11 days, she states that I took her passport for two weeks. But today she has stated that she never gave her passports. And let me tell you, my friends, out of the 11 days that Ms. Gordo worked for our home, I have every single boarding card to prove where I was on those particular dates. And out of the 11, I was only home for three. And in those three days of being in the GTA itself, I was involved with my constituency and the community. It is alleged that I have had regular contact with, Mor with Ms. Gordo, but when you take a look at the proof and the evidence once again, and you take a look at all of the boarding cards that I have, I wasn't even physically in the GTA. They both claim to have shoveled snow, but my mother has hired a snow shoveler for the past five years. And it is this snow shoveler who has given a written statement stating he has never come to the home and the snow has been shoveled before he has done it. They claim to have cleaned the clinics. My brother has a professional cleaning service that cleans the clinics on a daily basis and has done so since the clinics have been opened. Ms. Tongson states that I took her passport, but she has signed documentation stating that it was my brother who took her passport for the purpose of doing her sponsorship.
She has also signed a receipt acknowledging that it was my brother who she returned that passport to. And the day that the passport was returned, I myself was in a flight en route from Ottawa to Toronto because Ms. Tongson dated the receipt. In another effort to advance her claim, and I don't know if this has come out, but it was Ms. Tongson who tried to impersonate me to HRSDC. There is one final item I think that is of incredible importance that people have been wondering about. When we have taken a look at the stories, it has been written in the stories that both Magdalene and Richland were here in Canada illegally. However, I do want to report to all of you today that the agency has confirmed that both Magdalene and Richland were in Canada legally. After presenting this evidence, it is clear that I, Ruby Dalla, am not the employer, I am not the sponsor. And to that end, to ensure that my name that I have worked incredibly hard for my whole life, I have personally asked the Ethics Commissioner to investigate this issue and I will cooperate fully with the investigation. 